guess I'll just take your thick cord and your two embroidery threads and put the ends together. And you want to take one of your crimp ends and carefully place the threads on the cords inside the crimp end. Take care to get everything nice and firmly in position with nothing coming out and then you can pinch the ends of your crimp end just to hold everything in place. Then you want to take your pliers and then firmly press down on the crimp ends. Do one side at each time until you get everything nice and secure. Once you've got that nice and tight, you can trim off any excess. And then you want to attach that end to the board. And you can untangle your cords and your embroidery threads. Then take your two thick cords and attach them to the bottom of the board. And I'm going to attach them separately because I'm going to be working over them separately. So you want to move one of your embroidery threads out of the way and then just work over one of the cords with one of your embroidery threads. So you want to work over and through until you've gone about a third of the way down your bracelet. And do this bit carefully because it does have a tendency to tangle when it's quite long. And as the knots start to spiral around, you want to move the embroidery thread over and through without actually knotting and just pull it to the other side to help the knots spiral around the cord so it doesn't distort as you're working. And then just carry on until you've got a third of the way down your bracelet. So once you've done the first part, it should look something like this. So you can move that thread out of the way, and then take the thread at the other side and do the same thing again. Just working over and through until you've got it as long as the first part. So once you've done both sides, you can move your embroidery threads to the outside, and then pinching those two together, you can do square knots. You can do one or two here, however many you want really. I'm going to do three, I think. Once you can use square notes, you can repeat what you did at the beginning. So you can move one embroidery thread out of the way and just do the spiral with your hitch knots like you did at the top. So you're just going over and through. And again you want to work about another third of your bracelet here. I'm 
once you've done that side you want to do the same at the other side. And once you've done both sides, it should start to look something like this. So next you're going to do your square knots again, but before you do that, you want to insert your charm. So take one of the cords, and insert the cord into the jumping on the charm. And then you want to take the end of your embroidery thread and also insert that through the jumping. Once you've pulled it all the way through, you can just push the charm up over the work you've already done. And then you can start and do the same amount of square knots as you did the first time. Once you've matched the second set with your first set, you can repeat what you did at the bottom with what you did at the top. So you're just going to be doing your spirals again by doing half pitch knots by going over and through until you've got the base as long as you want it. And you're going to do this on both sides. So once you've done both sides and checked that they match, you can remove the bracelet from the board. And you can trim the ends of your cords. I'm going to leave the embroidery thread on just so that I can hold them in place while I put them in the crimp bin. So once again you want to make sure that you get all your embroidery threads and your cords nice and tightly into the crimp end. You can use the embroidery first to position it. Once you're satisfied it's in, you can just pinch the crimp end just to hold everything in place. And then take your pliers and tighten everything up. Once your crimp end is securely attached, you can trim off any excess. You should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can try on your bracelet. And that is your completed snowflake charm bracelet.